Hello everybody, today I will be doing the recipe of the chiles rellenos and I'm going to start with the ingredients. Over here I have four poblano peppers and I got two jalapenos right here. Right here I have six uh, eggs and I divide the yolk from the whites. I have one cup of flour. I have a cup and a half of chile chihuahua. And I have four chile piquins over here, cut them in little slices. Right here I have uh, one fourth of an onion. And right here I mix uh, ground beef with cheese. Right here I have one fourth of teaspoon of salt for the egg. So let's start by roasting our peppers. So I have my peppers roasting over here in the comal. And uh, we're going to be turning and turning all the, the peppers uh, until they're done. Okay, our peppers are almost done. Uh, so I'm going to put them in a plastic bag. That way um, they can sweat a little bit and it's easier to remove the skin. Okay, I'm going to start by removing all the skin from my peppers. Like you can see, it's real easy to bring, to take all the skin out. It's hot. So we remove all the skin from, from the pepper. Okay, I finished peeling all my peppers. Ya les quité todo el, el pellejito a los chiles. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to make a little cut over here with my knife. And we're going to take off all the, the seeds from here. Like you see, there's some seeds. So we're going to cut them. We're going to take them off. Be careful that you don't cut yourself right there. As you can see, we remove all the seeds right there. So I'm going to do it with the other papers too. And then we, we go to the next step. Uh, we have our pep peppers over here ready. Tenemos nuestros chiles listos para rellenar. So we're going to start by mixing the cheese, the onion, and the chile piquín. Uh, if you don't want chile piquín, you can just eat the, the poblano peppers like that. They're not spicy. But we want a little spice, so that's why I put the chile piquín over here. And I put the onion over here. And I mix this all together. So now we're going to start putting the cheese inside our peppers. Like you see, it has the little opening over here. So I'm gonna be putting the cheese over here. With my finger, I slide it all the way to the bottom. That way, every little bite that you have, it has cheese. Right there. And right there. Okay, so here is one. We close it like this and we'll put it to the side. So I'm going to do one of meat now so you can see how it looks like. So now we can put the cheese and the meat over here. Because you can you can make your cheese, of, uh, I mean your, your papers, um, with cheese or you can put meat inside so I'm gonna try this one with meat and uh, and cheese and I just cook the I, I just cook uh, the ground beef with um, salt and pepper and onion and garlic and that's all let's see like that okay and now I'm gonna close it Give it a little squish with my fingers and close it. And it's going to look like this, okay? So I'm going to do the rest of them. And they look like this. So now we're going to start by mixing our egg whites. Okay, when it looks like this, it's ready to put the eggs in here and the salt. So we put the salt right there. And we put the eggs. And we just mix a little bit more. And it's done. It looks like this, okay? 
mix it a little more by my hand okay so i'm gonna start by um putting my my paper over here on the flower first so empezamos para poner el chile aquí en la harina lo llenamos de harina you shake it and then we're going to put it in the egg we we'll put it in the egg inside the egg come out like this and then we we'll put it in the oil right there so i'm going to do another one it needs to be more hard right there so i'm going to do this one over here so we'll put it in the flour first flour flour everywhere shake it and then we'll put it in and the egg and then from here to fry right there so over here what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna put a uh, hot oil on top that way you can close or you can seal you know the egg that way when we turn the paper is not uh, it doesn't open so ahora lo vamos a cerrar con aceite a sellarlo y para cuando le demos la vuelta no se abra el chile as you can see it looks like it already sealed so we're gonna let it cook it looks like it's ready to be churned so I just, I'm just gonna hold it like this be, be real careful when you when you do frying right here so I'm just gonna oh, that one didn't help so I'm gonna use this so I can flip it around Ugh, I'm having a hard time because I'm only using one hand okay right here and we fix it because it open a little bit so we'll fix it Okay, so it's done. And I fixed the one that got open over here. So I'm gonna remove this one. And you gotta be real careful with, with the oil like I tell you, because you can burn yourself. And, the, and this one is done already too. So I'm just going to put them over here to the side and I'm going to cook the rest of them. And this is how they look when they're already done. And I'm going to be serving them with uh, rice on the side, but you can also eat it, you know, by itself if you want to. Ahora lo estaré sirviendo con arroz alado, arroz blanco, pero lo pueden uh, comer solo si ustedes desean. Um, muchas gracias por por ver este video y espero y les guste. Uh, I hope you enjoy the recipe and thank you for watching this video.